introduction to my topic and kind of explain where I want to go with this topic in the next several videos. So the video that follows is going to give you a brief introduction to stress and how that kind of affects us. And the following videos that I'll do are going to do a deeper dive into that. See, the reason I want to do this topic is because I've been working at my spine for three years, as I told you. Now, why three years? Does it really take that long to get better, or is there something going on? Now, my <laughs> chiropractors will drive me crazy by saying, when, when I say, why can't I get better? They'll say, chemical, emotional, and physical. Well, I can tell you, emotional has been a huge uh, impact in my life for several years now and I think it's inhibiting me I think those that stress load is preventing me from reaching the, the heights that I want to go with my overall health now that doesn't mean I haven't made some good transitions I can look at myself today from six months ago and start to see a glow and I also uh, feel even better than I did when I got here and I am growing but have I slowed that growth down have I slowed my progress down so if you're one of those people who are having trouble like maybe you're trying to lose weight but it's just not coming off maybe you're um, you're doing all this exercise but still your body's not changing enough the way you want it to Maybe, you know, you're not getting good sleep. This all can impact you. But the number one thing that I think affects all of it is stress. And we really need to, to implement this as part of our overall plan in our health in order to help everything else. Because stress can affect your sleep. It can affect how you eat or the desired effect that you want from the eating <laughs> this is hilarious but there are so many freaking planes right now flying <laughs> I can't make this stuff up it can also affect your exercise and the reason that exercise is a known stress reliever however it only I think is going to relieve the stress that's behind you and not the stress that you may go into uh, after you leave the gym and it's really important to uh, figure all of this out so that you can get the best benefits from every approach you're going at to be a better healthier and happier you so follow me and we'll explore this a little and we'll get better. Good morning, this is Kirsten from I Know What's Up. How are you doing? So, isn't the scenery beautiful behind me? This is one of my favorite spots on the beach. Just love it. So, I wanted to talk a little bit about stress, which is something I think should be labeled as our number one uh, killer. Not heart, not heart disease or cancer, but stress, because stress can actually lead to a lot of those diseases. So what happens in our body when, when we go under stress? It's called fight or flight. We go into, we go from the parasympathetic to the sympathetic dominant state. Now, healthy people, healthy minds and healthy people should be in the parasympathetic state most of the time. That sympathetic dominant state is there in case you're being chased by a lion and you have to fight or fight. Bye! So, I don't know if you realize that the simplest thing can put you in your fight or flight state because your body has no idea if you're sitting in traffic all frustrated or if you're running from a lion. So, I want you to keep this in mind because um, there are, are Things you're doing every day that could be keeping you in this dominant state and when you're in this fight-or-flight dominant state you um, actually are hurting your health so even though you um, uh, might eat healthy like me 
you might um, exercise like me, you still are not reaping the benefits because you won't sleep well if you're stressed. You won't, uh, you sometimes won't eat well because what happens in fight or flight is your glucose is released from the liver and you use those resources because that uh, will go to help you uh, run faster and fight better. It'll get your eyes more clear, your mind focused. So when you, um, when you use those glucose resources, I believe that you're going to be more apt to want uh, a quick replenishment of that glucose. And I just did a, a, a short research paper on that that briefly touches on that, and I'll link that to this. But I believe staying in a stress state can actually be inhibiting your ability to lose weight. It can be inhibiting your ability to sleep, obviously, if you're weighing, if you're laying awake, because your um, your sleep is where you do repair. So I don't know if you've ever had a good night's sleep where you wake up and you just feel amazing, uh, and you are definitely in your your parasympathetic state when you get a good sleep. So just the simplest thing of stress can affect everything in your life, even if you're trying to do the good things. So, what do we do? How do we fix this? Well, it all starts in your noggin. It all starts up there. And I'll give you just a little brief example that you may think is a little bit silly. But I'm walking on the beach today. I couldn't wait to get out here because I haven't been able to do, like, the simplest things because I'm working full time and I'm trying to do a research paper and I'm trying to do my schoolwork and I just can't do everything in, in that um, in that circumstance. So I'm like, yay, I get to walk the beach. I notice such a huge difference in how I feel when I walk the beach. So today they they have this thing where they they uh, dr they kind of like dredge the sand and they uh, pretty much take most of the wet sand a way to walk in depending on the tide so I I mean if I'm gonna walk in the wet sand today I am going to get wet and um, sure enough I got splashed now I could be like why did they have to do this this is so stupid now I'm all wet I've got to go here what am I gonna do I could be like Ugh! you know or I could just be like ha Yay, I'm wet. I've got wicking pants on. I'm cool. But did you actually know that that simplest mindset can put you in fight or flight? Because your body doesn't know. Your body doesn't understand. It just knows what your mind's telling it. So one of the very first things you have to do when you are trying to uh, de-stress is work on your head work on your thought processes. So this is really hard to do. This is, this is why making changes can be so difficult because guess what? You operate mostly in your subconscious. You are not literally walking around in your conscious. You're mostly in your subconscious thinking about this past thing, thinking about that past thing. It's like a, a computer program that you I don't want to say you don't have control over, but if you don't know that you're a computer program walking around, being affected by your past, then you don't know that you can change it. So we're more powerful than that computer program. So we have to shut that program down, redo a new one, and change our mindset. So one of my number one tips for, for de-stressing is to go ahead and start thinking differently. Catch yourself in those negative thought patterns and start to work through them one by one over and over and over because anything that's worth anything is going to take repetition and the other key I want to say is I think people have a tendency to beat themselves up when they fail do not be afraid to fail make mistakes put yourself out there and just keep repeating 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 until you get this down so that's my tip. Stay on the healthy and happy side of life. And thank you for watching. I love you much, Lee.